unarmed, handcuffed George Floyd. Murder was videotaped. The video has emerged online. A brutal video released. Ahmaud Arbery. And we want to warn you. And a warning for you, the video you are about to see is graphic. These videos of black men being uh, murdered by police or by uh, vigilantes have become something of a fashion. They have never been in opposition to the inhumanity of these acts, which makes me wonder if the rest of society doesn't see black males in an inhumane way. We have a long history of the visuals of black death, pictures of lynchings, black citizens slain in the street or surrounded by white vigilantes, white armed forces in glee. I also think about a photograph in 1967 of a 12-year-old black kid prone in a pool of his own blood. That particular photo appeared on the cover of Life magazine in full color. How many times have you seen a slain white body in the media? You know, one of the things that strikes me about so much of this is that we don't see people having visceral reactions. Uh, they watch this as, a, as if it's theater. At a church on the south side of Chicago, Emmett Till's mutilated body would be on display for all to see. I recall seeing the, the video of Emmett Till's funeral back in Chicago where his mother um, brought his body, his mutilated body, and she had an open casket, and people filed by for hours. And the thing that struck me about it wasn't so much the open casket, but about the visceral reaction, the emotional reaction that so many black women, black mothers had of seeing this black child uh, who had been murdered, and they pass out. I watched the memorial service at the spot where George Floyd was, uh, took his last breath. His brother appeared to be whimpering. He was shaking. He was, he was on his knees. He had to be helped from keeling over. But we don't see that image enough. We see the video, but we don't see that emotional reaction, the toll that it takes, reminder that this person is a human being. And I understand the, the evidentiary value of these videos, but you don't see them as being your next door neighbor, you don't see them as being somebody you work with, you don't see them being as somebody you worship with, somebody you bump into the grocery store. It becomes a very distant reality. There was a study done by NIH a few years ago. The study found because of the proliferation of these videos, of these images, it contributed to the thought within the black community, but among black males in particular, that their lives were disposable, that their lives um, were without dignity, that their lives did not deserve justice. This morning, a man is dead after being arrested by Minneapolis police, and video has emerged online. I don't really even want to show you, but we have to show you a few minutes. I think it's important on the part of news media to give greater consideration to how they display these deaths. Think about the fact that a disclaimer may not be enough, and to understand that you may have a role in the continued dehumanization of black men in this society by playing these reels um, as if they're promos for the next segment of the news.